Hi everyone, welcome back. It's good to see you. I hope everyone is well. I wanted to come on today to initial a conversation with you one to one before I bring Elijah in on this topic. This is something that is very important and crucial to Elijah's livelihood and lifestyle. And we wanted to share it with you, how it affects him how it affects our household, how it affects his lifestyle. And I want to also say I'm not a clinical specialist. I'm no way I'm not in a medical profession. I am simply a single parent who has taken time to research and live through experience how to care for a person who deals with severe allergies. My son has several allergies, food allergies, and one is very severe for him that can be fatal and deadly. I want to have this conversation because not only am I interested in it bringing awareness, but acceptance and also respect to him as well as others who may be dealing with the same thing. It may not be the same type of allergy, but anything that can be life-threatening is very, very important and is very important to us. It has been about 20 years that Elijah has had to take measures to prevent anaphylactic response or what is known as severe allergic reaction to this. He has a particular food allergy to even just being in the environment of seafood or fish, as well as other allergens he has, but this one is more severe. He cannot even be around the presence or smell of these things, or it can trigger a deadly consequence for him. I wanted to do the intro because in my research and in looking up how it affects other people, um, specifically those who have developmental or intellectual disabilities, special needs, I found in reading a lot of material that there is a substantial percentage of people who not just are on the spectrum, who have food allergies, who deal with all different types of allergies. Anyone can develop an allergy um, of any food type, but, and some are more common than others. But this particular one, for him, we have had to be so careful and we do have to be so careful and it's difficult i live in a city and you know the desire one day is of course to be able to have him in an environment where he can have a little bit more flexibility and not be as restrictive cities uh present more restrictability i believe because you have so many people there's so many different ways to get around here in a city. and But most importantly, we want to discuss the measures we've had to go through just to kind of keep them safe. And I, as a parent, also want to share. And I'm pretty sure many parents may be able to identify with some of the things I'm going to share with you about this topic. My son, at a toddler stage was sent to the emergency room after we had an initial encounter with finding out that he was in fact allergic to this specific allergen airborne wise. And it resulted in Elijah being in an emergency room with his head swollen double in size um, and barely hardly able to breathe and hives all over his body. It was just no parent ever wants to have to see that, go through that with their 
children. And it was so intense. And I'll never forget the emergency room physician who was very stern and said, listen, <laughs> this can be deadly for him. They had given him EpiPen. They had given him Benadryl. They had, you know, but that was coming into the time where I was just learning as a single parent that he had this allergy. Uh, I've had to encounter people telling me, oh, I've never heard that before. And I'm talking about people who are in positions to that's who should be there to help you um, in certain areas or guidance relating to your children or some who just say you know well I've never heard of that before you might not have never heard about it before nevertheless it doesn't make it non-factual or true and these are just some of the things as a parent you have to encounter or deal with from others who don't understand how it can affect a person's livelihood or how important it is to keep your child safe. So we want to touch base on those things. Elijah's going to come and he's also going to share, you know, how he has felt with not being able to attend certain events, even family events, uh, extended family events, or being able to go into a restaurant that serves it, or just so many not being in close proximity with someone who may have even just had a fish sandwich or something like that you know it's just very critical for him and we want to share that i don't know how many parents out there have had to deal with something as severe as this but i definitely want to bring it to light not just for awareness but acceptance and then in hopes that even establishments would recognize that people who do have different types of allergens, you know, for them, they want to be able to feel accepted as well and measures be taken to help reduce risk for them as well. Now, there are a lot of areas we're just not going to be able to go into we can't have an ex you know as an establishment to change you know what they have created but we can ask for certain accommodations possibly that can be made to keep our loved ones safe and it's difficult it can be difficult you learn especially in a city, how to do your best to ensure you don't always have to use an EpiPen um, to have to hear from people who just simply tell you, oh, just take an EpiPen with you. That's mandatory. That's something that we have to do. To use it and to use it on a frequent basis is not our desire. EpiPens are for emergency use, not to be used on a regular basis. And I'm also going to share later on the measures that we've had to take, how we tried to keep the use of those EpiPens to a minimal. So I hope that you will come along on the journey of this discussion. We have so much content that we want to bring to this table. And I hope if you know someone who also is affected or also someone who as a parent or a caregiver know what this experience is like, definitely share, follow, and come along on this journey with us. I invite you to do that, okay? The next time I come on, I will be bringing Elijah on. He knows exactly what he's allergic to. He knows the measures that have to be taken for himself. For 20 years, we have been doing our best to manage the knowing the knowing how to, 
how to take preventive measures against anaphylactic shock or response to allergens being in his environment. It is extremely difficult. Um, I can't say that enough. And it is real. I never comprehend how people can say, because you've never heard of it, it doesn't exist. As a parent, that's the worst, one of the worst things you want to hear from someone who should be working alongside with you so that your loved one gets the best care that they need. Not basing it on other people's opinions. This is real. It has been real. We live this every single day. So uh, it has brought a lot of attention with our family dealing with the education system. There have been many challenges with that. Um, also going to share how one educational structure which Elijah had been so privileged to be a part of was one place that did the best as we know to assure that Elijah was able to at the same time obtain education also be able to stay or be considered in a safe environment during that time and we appreciate that we appreciate that so much um, I want to close this part and we will definitely see you back here in a little bit all right stay tuned don't go nowhere